Section 10.1.9. The null and the alternative hypothesis are given. Determine whether the hypothesis test is left-tailed, right-tailed, or two-tailed, and what parameter is being tested. So here is the null hypothesis, and you can see here that the symbol mu is equal to 13, and then the alternative hypothesis says mu is greater than 13. The first question says, what type of test is being conducted in this problem? Okay, before we answer this question, let's recall some information here. Okay, if a hypothesis test has an equal hypothesis versus a not equal hypothesis, then it is a two-tailed. If it has an equal hypothesis versus a less than hypothesis, then it is a left-tailed test. Finally, if it has an equal hypothesis versus a greater than hypothesis, then it is a right-tailed test. Well, here we have equals, and you can see it's versus a greater than hypothesis. So since this is greater than, we can say that it represents a right-tailed test. So therefore, the first part here is the right-tailed test. Okay, now the next thing it says, what parameter is being tested? That means we need to look at the symbols. So what does this symbol represent? Well, let's recall the symbols. Recall that mu represents the population mean, sigma represents the population standard deviation, and p represents the population proportion. This is telling us that the population mean is equal to 13, and the population mean is greater than 13 for the alternative hypothesis. So since mu represents the population mean, then our result is the population mean.